Hey guys, it is Saturday. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's Saturday. I'm out here in St. Louis. Yo, it's like it says it's 86 degrees. However, it feels like it's 96. So it's a good day. It's a good day to be alive. It's a good day to be grateful, express gratitude. However, it is not a good day to chase after a man who does not want you. All right, sisters. In my book, I have it right here. I have a copy right here. If you don't know, I'm an author. Here's my book. It's called, Hello, My Name is Single, Ready to Mingle, Dating Tips for the Single Successful Lady. Chapter 3. I call Chapter 3, Would You Like a Drink with That Chaser? Now, you know when you meet a guy, you're interested in him, he's interested in you. However, when you create conversation, you're the one that's always initiating conversation, and he'll give you a response, but it's not really engaging. Anytime you talk on the phone, it's because you're calling him or you're reaching out to him in some kind of way. Anytime you have any kind of communication whatsoever, you're the one that's doing all the initiating. However, sisters, I'm here to tell you, don't initiate anything. I put that in this book right here. That is one of my tips in my book that I self-publish myself. Do not be out here initiating conversations with no dude. If a dude wants you, he will let you know. Just think about it this way. If you are Beyonce, let's just choose Beyonce since a lot of men find her very attractive, in which she is. Let's just say she's Beyonce. Do you think if this man met Beyonce that he would wait three days to reach out to her do you think if this man met you and your name was Beyonce do you think he would wait around for her to text absolutely not he would be running his feet would be on fire he would be so anxious and so thirsty and so ready to meet her go out to eat with her go to the park you name it yet us women a lot of us treat ourselves like we're not worth a guy initiating anything courting us planning dates calling us not just texting so we get so anxious and so nervous that we meet an attractive man with a job in a car and a house that we overdo it i want us to stop overdoing it what i do haven't always been like this however i'm evolving so what i do is when i meet a guy I don't initiate nothing. Like if he don't, if I, I assume like like this. If he approached me, obviously he's interested in me. Okay, what is there not to be interested in? I mean, let's just be real. So when he approaches me, that means he's interested. So if he's interested, what you got? If you want to talk, let's talk. But I'm not initiating anything. Why do I have to lead this? You the man, right? You rah rah rah. Want to walk here around here like you the man, the king tut? Well, show me what you got. So if you don't initiate any conversation via text message or phone call, we won't talk. And guess what? I sleep well at night. You women out there that's chasing these men, I guarantee you're not sleeping well at night. You're stressed out. You're worried. You're confused. You're anxious. You're losing weight. You're losing sleep. You're losing your hair. And for what? Just because a dude who's interested in you won't express by actively reaching out to you. So if you run into this kind of situation, don't even trip. Don't even get emotionally involved let a man work let a man move let him let his actions let his actions show you everything you need to know don't be out here chasing no dude for what why do we more of us not understand that we're the prize we are the prize why are we acting like we're on the clearance rack and we've been marked down 30 different times i don't understand why why so many women act like they ain't the shit like i will never understand that and i be seeing beautiful women who have careers and businesses who are financially stable who look just physically great and have a great spirit and great hearts and great minds and yet a lot of us will go for i say us because i'm a woman and a lot of us will go for the most trifling dude out there who ain't just giving us nothing but penis and problems like what is that about like i am so over it that i can't stand it so if you're watching this right now and you've been up all night stressing drinking getting drunk because you don't want to think about what he's doing where y'all going what y'all doing and you have all these questions over your head stop chasing this dude and you need to get on amazon and chase my book 
because I break it down. All this bull crap that these guys be doing to us ladies, I'm breaking it down in my book. So it's seven dollars for an ebook, ten dollars for a soft copy. If you live in St. Louis, inbox me. I can hook you up with one in person and do what you got to do for yourself. Because as long as you keep chasing after a dude, he gonna keep running in the opposite direction. So get you some business. Put yourself first. First, excuse me. <laughs> put yourself first. Get your edges snatched, get your body together, and do what you need to do for self. Because I guarantee the moment you decide that you don't care either way, if he call or not, freedom. Let freedom ring, ladies. All right, thank you for watching. I see you, Linwood. <laughs> Thumbs up this message if you like it. Comment below. Hit the notification bell up here if you want to know when I'm going live. It is Saturday. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube, I can't talk youtube twitter instagram facebook b wiley pick up that book man pick up my book since y'all know see since y'all always on my page watching stuff commenting always talking about what i ain't saying about the woman and blah 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 y'all need to pick up my book too because y'all be running y'all mouth about the wrong stuff all right guys <laughs> thank you for watching it is saturday i hope everybody has a great self-care saturday i got my nails done yesterday i got my nails done got my feet done I am feeling great. My hair, it's wash day. So, yeah, I'm taking care of me, and I hope you're taking care of you. Put you first, damn everything else. All right, guys, bye.